Blinds Power Stop CPP NPA Financiers. 9 billion pesos left from Bayanihan 2 will be used. Duterte's call to arm civilians, not a policy. Coronavirus cases in the country at 1,403,588. PNP warns personnel against engaging in politics. President Duterte wanted to attend Pinoy's wake but meeting held him up. PSEI dragged by portfolio rebalancing. And Peso retweets as Philippines enters dirty money list anew. Good evening. Today is Monday, June 28, 2021. I am Elmer Navarro Manuel and this is Tribune News on Q. Here are the stories for this evening. Malacanang on Monday said it would stop financiers of the Communist Party of the Philippines and its armed wing, the New People's Army. This comes after the Financial Action Task Force included the country in its gray list for under-increased monitoring to counter money laundering and terrorist financing. The financial, the financial Action Task Force is an international organization that coordinates global efforts to crack down on money laundering and terrorism financing. Said nations on the list are working with it to correct deficiencies in their financial systems. Presidential spokesperson Harry Roca said that the CPP and TA has funds and there is a need to shut their fund sources, but he did not give the amount of funding the CPP and TA supposedly receives. The Palace expressed confidence on Monday that the billions of unspent fund under Bayanihan 2 law, which expires on June 30, will be all obligated within three days. Presidential spokesperson Harry Roque said that from an initial 18 billion pesos worth of unobligated or yet obligated fund under Bayanihan 2, the amount is down to 9 billion pesos. As for Bayanihan 3, Roque reiterated that the administration's economic team is not yet on board. He stressed that the Bayanihan 3 is not decided yet since economic managers are still finding out if there is any amount left under 2020-2021 budget and the Bayanihan 2. Presidential spokesperson Harry Roque stressed that President Rodrigo Duterte's call to arm civilians to help the police in crime-fighting operations is not a policy. This follows after the president insinuated that members of the Global Coalition of Lincoln Bayan Advocacy Support Groups and Force Multipliers in Camp Crame may be armed if they are qualified. The coalition consists of civilian organizations which will serve as the police's partner in its fight against crime and police community relations program. The presidential spokesperson then echoed the defense of Philippine Police Chief Police General Guillermo Eljazar that such call from the president only means that civilians under attack by criminals should be equipped enough to defend themselves. Tribune News on Q will be back after these reminders.
The Department of Health reported 5,604 confirmed coronavirus disease cases on Monday to bring the total number of infections in the country at 1,403,588 even as six laboratories failed to submit data on time. This brought the active cases to 52,029 and of the total 90.1% are mild, 5.0% are asymptomatic, 1.4% are critical cases, 2.1% are severe, and 1.49% are moderate cases. The number of recoveries, on the other hand, rose to 1,327,000 after 6,154 patients recovered from the deadly disease. The death toll now stands at 24,456 following 84 fatalities recorded. The health department said that eight duplicates, including six recoveries, were deleted from its total caseload. In other news, Philippine National Police, Police General Guillermo Elizar discouraged all police personnel from engaging in partisan politics with the election season fast approaching. The Department of the Interior and local government has dismissed Necros Oriental cops guilty of subjecting ex Moises Padilla Vice Mayor Ella Garcia Yulo to an illegal search and seizure in 2017. The dismissed cops were identified as former Moises Padilla Town Police Chief Police Captain Alan Reloj, Police Master Sergeant Ricardo Campos Dingkong Jr., Police Corporal Nobel Perante, Police Corporal Correjado Pesales Jr., Police Patrolman Michael Mundido and Police Patrolman Daryl Dukay Dormido. The National Police Commission found that the six PNP personnel subjected Yulo to political harassment as she was planning to run for mayor in 2019 against then incumbent mayor Magdaleno Peña. Meanwhile, Malacanang disclosed on Monday that President Rodrigo Duterte wanted to go to the wake for his predecessor, former President Benigno Noy Noy Aquino III, but got held up in a meeting. Presidential spokesperson Harry Roque said the president was in Manila last week and had been meeting with Bangsamoro region officials over the proposed extended tenure of the Bangsamoro Transition Authority. Roque also said the president could have skipped Aquino's funeral on Saturday to avoid crowds. He added that the president may have skipped the visit because of the coronavirus disease pandemic and to prevent crowds from converging at Times Street. We'll pause for a short break. Stay with us. Make long distance easy with the Mirage G4. In business, share prices on the Philippine Stock Exchange retreated on Monday dragged by rebalancing efforts with the first half of the year nearing its close. The main PSEI shed 12.55 points or 0.18% to 6,937.96 at the closing bell. The Brother All Shares Index gained 15.03 points or 0.36% to 4,244.61. 
The Hina Capital Development Corporation head of sales Luis Limningan said that Philippine shares traded sideways as investors prepare for the window dressing by rebalancing portfolios ahead of the close of the semester. More than 1.592 billion shares valued at 5.348 billion pesos change hands. Winners trumped losers 107 to 96 and 43 shares were unchanged. And the Philippine peso retreated against its U.S. counterpart on Monday, dragged by the inclusion of the Philippines in the dirty money list. The local currency lost 16.4 centavos to close at 48.645 to a dollar versus Friday's finish of 48.481 to a dollar. Result Commercial Banking Corporation Chief Economist Michael Ricofort attributed Monday's depreciation on the inclusion of the Philippines in the gray list of the Financial Action Task Force last Friday. The gray list covers countries subjected to higher surveillance to prove its progress against money laundering and terrorist financing. That wraps up the stories tonight. Catch the latest news on our website, tribune.net.ph, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Or subscribe to our YouTube channel, Tribune Now. The Daily Tribune is one with the nation in facing the COVID-19 crisis. And in line with this, the Daily Tribune digital edition of Press Reader is now available for free online. You can also download the Daily Tribune app on Apple Store or Google Play to get the latest and most comprehensive news online. Daily Tribune is also inviting everyone to join its community Viber Katribu to get updates on the freshest and hottest news and entertainment stories of the day. Tarsito emoticons are also available on our community Viber. Just visit the sticker store and search for Katribu. Before we go, we would like to thank the SM Store and Overseas Community Affairs Council member Alan Lin of the Republic of China for their continued support. Again, this is Elmer Navarro Manuel and you're watching Tribune News on Q. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay at home. Good night, and God bless us all. Manong Joe po! At Ate Maita. Matapos ang magkasunod na buwang pagbaba, Bagyang tumaas ng overall electricity rates ng halos 9 centavos per kilowatt hour ngayong buwan. At paalala lang po, maging energy efficient po tayo. Lalo pag mainit, dahil mas hirap ang appliances at mas makonsumo. Buti may bright ideas tayo na based sa Meralco Power Lab Tests. Engineer Alfred? Alam nyo ba, ang lumang aircon, mas mataas ang konsumo. Up to 682 pesos ang dagdag kada buwan. Kumpara sa bago, mas energy efficient kasi ang technology ng bagong aircons. At kung inverter, pwedeng lampas 1,000 pesos ang savings per month. Piliin din yung may horsepower na sakto sa laki ng kwarto. Kung hindi, halos sa libo ang extra gastos buwan-buwan. Sundan ang tips na to. And visit our website para... You have the power this summer! Every time I'm on the road, I can expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. Now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Something big. The all new Honda City Hatchback with four seating modes Utility Mode, Long Mode, Tall Mode, Refresh Mode. The all new City Hatchback. Hatch more life. Click, click, that's it. Never thought self service can be this slick. Modify plans in a snap. More long he rap is a rap. Just tap the app. Now you can check. Subscribe, renew, help and support for you. Out with the ring, ring apps or the in thing. You know what to do. Globe at home and Globe One, all in the Globe app. Nayan, self service.
is an easy to use. Mas okay tayo dyan. Globe at home and Globe One. All in the Globe app na yan. Instant response, no hold time pa. Wala nang hintayan. Download Globe at home and Globe One app. All in the Globe app na yan. Download the Globe One and Globe at home apps from Google Play Store and Apple App Store now. Download Globe at home.